Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and Assalamu alaikum this is Cambridge Primary Mathematics Learner's Book and I am Asiyasin in my previous videos of uh, grade 1 book we are done with the topics numbers to 10 geometry fractions I am reading these units ok fractions measurements these projects are discussed and positions these units are done and today we are going to start with the unit number 7 statistics this one statistics okay I am in a zoom meeting and I am recording my video as well so you can see many controls on the screen No, not page number 7, oh, page number 1 it is, page number 98, we have to start with, okay, the unit is statistics for grade 1, statistics means that to how to sort out the things, how to sort out different objects. Okay, in grade 1, the students will learn how to sort out the things and what are Venn diagrams. What are Venn diagrams and how to make different groups. How to make the things in, uh, how to sort the things into different groups. Okay, let's start. It is. Look at the bears and tell how many bears are yellow. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 bears are yellow. How many other bears are there? Okay. Let me change the color. This one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 bears are not yellow or they are of the other color. Okay, now the question is draw a ring around and uh, around the correct answer. There are more or fewer yellow bears than the other bears. Okay, do we have more yellow bears? Yes, there are more yellow bears than the other bears. So, we will circle the word more. Okay, what is this? How many different ways are there to sort fruits and vegetables? Okay, for sorting fruits and vegetables, we will make two groups. Here we will write fruits and vegetables. Simply, we can sort the things like this. Uh, put the fruits here and put the vegetables here. Or we can do this that... Uh, Put all the green vegetables or fruits here uh, or like green items here and not green on the other side. Not green on the other side. Okay. And uh, use and make sets and Venn diagrams. Okay. These two are the groups. This is how we can sort the things into groups. But how can we sort the things into a Venn diagram? Let's see what is a Venn diagram. Venn diagram is something that overlaps and we write in the middle something that is in common with, the, with both groups. Okay, for example, if we say that fruits and vegetables... If we write F here for fruits and V here for vegetables, then what will be in the middle? In the middle should be something that is uh, fruit and vegetable both. Okay. So, what it could be? A tomato. Yes, a tomato is a fruit and a vegetable too. And a chili. Green chili. Yes, chili we... Okay, what are fruits? Fruits are something we eat them raw. We don't cook them. And uh, vegetables are something we have to cook them before eating. So, tomato, chili, capsicum, these kind of things fall in the category uh, that we, we eat them raw. 
and cropped in both forms. So we can make a Venn diagram like this for fruits and vegetables. And uh, yes, let's see what is on the next page. Okay, we have to introduce the, our students with sort the things, count objects into sets or use the word groups and sets and understanding the data. Okay, we need to know about organizing into sets so that we can start objects. Uh, sorry, so that we can sort objects into which things belong together and which don't. We can sort, when we sort, we look for something that is the same. Okay, here, here we have sorted out the green objects in one circle, in one group and not green objects in the other group. Okay. And is there any other way we can sort the things? Yes, we can say that put the round objects in it. We can sort like this. Put the round objects in one group and put the, uh, put the objects with straight lines in the other group. Yes. Okay, if we have to make two groups and I'm writing R for the round objects and S for the straight lines, objects with the straight lines. Okay, for the round objects, only these two items will go here and rest one, two, three, four items will go in this. I have sorted this group of shapes into two sets. One set contains green shapes and the other set contains shapes that are not green. Okay, yeah. this is this boy is Marcus, I guess. His name is Marcus in the book. Okay, he is telling you about his these two groups. Okay, this is exercise 7.1. Worked example 1. Here is a group of children. Sort them into two sets. Okay, it is uh, very easy. We can sort them into male and female. Male and female. Yes. Or the other way is uh, kids with the brown eyes and uh, <laughs> colored eyes. But in this picture... We cannot guess the uh, eye color. Or the other way, yes, we can say that kids with black, jet black here, and kids with um, without black here, any other color. Any other color, okay, other color, let's write. Writing on the screen is a bit challenging. Sorry, my baby is crying in the background. <laughs> background noise. Okay, so uh, male and female. In male and female, this is one, two, three, four. Four are male. And how many uh, are the girls? One, two, three, four, five are the girls. Female. Or you can say boys and girls, male, female, boys and girls. Okay, the other way to sort them is black hair, kids having black hair. One, two, three, four, five kids are having black hair. And uh, this boy is having light, uh, sorry, dark brown, blonde. One, two, three, four. Four kids are having other hair color okay and uh, writing on the groups like what group is this it is boys group or it is girls group these are called labels we call it label label your groups these are called labels
ओके सम ऑफ द चिल्ड्रन आर गर्ल्स वी लेबल द सर्कल गर्ल्स ऑल द गर्ल्स बिलोंग इन दिस सर्कल एंड अदर वन इज सम ऑफ द चिल्ड्रन आर बॉयज वी लेबल द सर्कल बॉयज ऑल द बॉयज बिलोंग टू दिस सर्कल और ओके दिस सॉर्टेड आउट इट लाइक दिस ओके नाउ वी विल गो हियर सॉर्ट दीज एनिमल्स इन टू द टू सेट्स बाय राइटिंग द लेटर्स इन द करेक्ट सर्कल ओके सो स्ट्राइप्ड एनिमल्स स्ट्राइप्ड एनिमल्स दिस वन इज स्ट्राइप्ड एनिमल जी दे सेट दैट राइट देयर लेटर्स ऑब्वियसली किड्स कैन नॉट ड्रॉ दिस डिफिकल्ट okay this is also striped animal it's h and i is striped and uh, all the others are not striped or i cannot see if they are striped this cat okay yes it is striped e e is striped it is not a cat i guess it is a fox this one yes it's i don't know i am not sure <laughs> okay so this is e e will come here e will come here for Oh I am writing it in non striped sorry these are striped i should write them here e g h and i okay now we will write rest of the animals in the other circle we are done with these four and now we will write a b C and D for not striped animals. Okay, now the question is how many have stripes? Okay, five. How many do not have stripes? Is again five. Okay. Now take the circle. Take the set that has more animals. They are equal. they are equal i cannot see stripes in any other animal so i think they are equal let's see this monkey yes they are not striped okay sort these vegetables into the two sets by writing the letters in the correct circle okay red red vegetables are b e and c look at my e okay, okay not red vegetables are a d f and g Okay, there are three red vegetables or f. Yes, fruits are three, and the others are four. Now the question is, how many are red? Three, and how many are not red? There are four. Take the set that has less. So this one has less, so we will take this set, or we can put a tick here. Okay we will do this let's investigate and the other pages later in my next video that's it for now thanks for watching allah hafiz